Hey guys, how's it going? Today's video is going to be a fun one. We're out at my parents' house on their deck with my mom <laughs> to answer a bunch of your questions. So I put it out there yesterday on several different platforms asking you to ask us questions and you came through. <laughs> Tons of questions. So this is likely going to be a part one. Mm -hmm. We might do a part two if you're game. Awesome. <laughs> the first thing I wanted to mention, well, a couple things. Mm -hmm. First off, this is my mom. Her name is Susan. <laughs> So I thought I would get that out there because I think that was maybe the most asked yeah. question. Um, I just go by Laura's mom. That's great with me. <laughs> Either way works. <laughs> it's good. Uh, the second thing is, I don't know if you can see it in the frame, but we've got mom's leg all propped up mm -hmm. here on pillows because I don't remember what the date was. July? July 13th. She broke her leg. Yeah. And ankle. In two, yeah, so two breaks. Mm -hmm. um, had to have surgery. Mm -hmm. All that business. She was out in the pasture mm -hmm. changing water and tripped over a, like a small stick. Yeah, it's not a great story. <laughs> well, I think it is because she got to ride in an ambulance. I like, did. <laughs> yeah, but the ambulance driver, her comments as she was wheeling me through the pasture was how nice our onions looked. <laughs> That's exactly what you want to hear, though. As you're getting oh yeah, and then off. we we paused a minute to take a look at the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was a that was a phone call and a half. Yeah. When yeah. 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 It was early in the morning and my sister tried to call me and I just texted her back and said, I'm just getting up, I'll call you back in a little bit. And she texted her back and said, It's an emergency, call me. Mm -hmm. Oh, your stomach yeah. drops. So mm -hmm. I mean I'm not happy that that happened to you, but I'm no. thankful it wasn't something worse. Oh, big time. Yeah. Yeah, big time. <laughs> Hey, that's real positive. I think, I think we should. Well, let me tell you what. The, the thing that's positive about this is I now am an owner of a smartwatch because I did not have my cell phone with me and I couldn't call. So I was out there. I was stuck. For so, Thankfully, Monica yeah, was here staying with she you She was. Night. And yeah. so it was just a matter of maybe 15 minutes. But when you're out there and you're not able to walk and... You don't have a way to communicate, mm -hmm. so for everybody, get a walk, get get, get something <laughs> to where you can or carry your phone. Yes, <laughs> carry your phone. <laughs> okay, are you ready for this? Yeah. Okay, we've gathered up a bunch of questions. I don't even know what they are, and neither does mom. So this yeah. is going to be fun. Uh, we're going to answer the questions from YouTube first. The first question is from Mellow Artistic. Mm -hmm. As seen, you've been in the garden center business for years. Have you ever felt the need to follow gardening trends in order to keep up with the times? Mm, some, for sure. Mm -hmm. You have to stay relevant. You have to you have to know what people are going to want, and then you have to know when to stop with something that you feel like's fading out. Mm -hmm. So you're not stuck with a really outdated inventory. You know what I yeah. noticed about what when I was down at the garden center mm -hmm. working uh, more closely with you in merchandising, you did follow the. Pantone color mm -hmm. of the year. Yep. I remember you always painting mm -hmm. walls yep. to kind of match that That's the right. color of the year yeah. trend. Yeah. Um, it, it, this question also said, I've always loved getting clearance plants from the big box stores. The lack of plant care is often a mm -hmm. win for those with a set budget. But since you are a family owned and operated garden center, do you find that you don't often have clearance plants? We don't have a lot of clearance plants. Honestly, our team of people that take care of everything do such a great job. I mean, I think when we very first started, we had a lot more <laughs> damaged things sure. just because we didn't know, um, you know, when to hold something for water mm -hmm. and, and when things needed a saucer under them because they needed like almost bog-like conditions. Mm -hmm. So through the years, we have adjusted our care. So that's made our plants stay super healthy. Mm -hmm. And yeah, nothing's ever really stressed. Mm -hmm. That is nice. And that's a team effort. Oh, for sure. Yeah. They do hold a couple of sales mm -hmm. every single mm -hmm. year. One in June, mm -hmm. right? And one in the fall. And they're long, like they're weeks, weeks. long. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's always opportunity yeah. to pick up something at a right. better price. But the difference is they don't look like clearance plants no, at they that look, time. And in fact, I bring in loads of new things just so that people don't feel like they have just the has been kind of leftovers to choose from. So they have fresh stock and mm -hmm. pretty things mm -hmm. to, to choose from. I appreciate that yeah. greatly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's called a customer appreciation sale. Yeah. So I appreciate them. I'm not just wanting to pawn off all of our old stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's it. A little, a little bit. Getting rid well, of some old yeah, stuff. Yeah, <laughs> you want to get rid of your old stuff, but you wanted them to have a chance to get new things as yes. well. Yes. Yeah. A. Livingston said, if each of you were getting married today, what kinds of flowers would you put in your bouquet? I think we should answer this at the same time. It might okay. be the same. Okay. So one, or let's see, do I count down three, two, one, and then we'll say it. Okay. Three, two, one. English, English roses. roses. <laughs> 
so true. David Austin English yes. roses. Now, yeah. I would guess for you, it would be an Evelyn. Mm -hmm. You're uh, right. Well, it could be any of them. It, it doesn't even really matter. It could be a Graham Thomas. Uh -huh. It could be a... It could be Crown Princess Margarita, Margar yes. Margarita, Margarita, Strawberry Hill. It mm -hmm. could be Queen of Sweden. I, oh, Ambridge Rose. Yeah, uh, the yeah. There's, yeah. there's so many. It could gorgeous go on and on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we got married, I ha used we flew in orchids from Hawaii. Uh -huh. I was working at a flower shop at the time, and I thought that was just it. That the orchids. Was that the style? I mean, it was kind of, but it was kind of like, you know, I was 18, so. It's fun to look back on those. It's fun yeah. for me to hear about those yeah. kinds of things and how your style has evolved because I yeah. feel like mine has too. And yeah. I'm sure that many of your styles have evolved it, too. It just, time. I think we go a little bit with the trend. Mm -hmm. um, we try to stick more on the classic side of things yeah. with a little bit of trend right. mixed in there right. um, so that it's never too dated. Right. But yeah, orchids, were they white? They were They were white Phalaenopsis orchids and they that were beautiful. Pretty. But that's not ever been any that's not ever been my favorite flower, not ever. But for some reason, I thought that was it. And that, that, was, I should, that was the thing. That was the thing, and I should have a lot of them. <laughs> well, I don't know that I've really know. I need to take a closer look at your pictures. Yes. The next one is from the Plantastic Nerd. I want to ask your mom, what is one of her best parent advice? Seeing how you have evolved into this loving mom is making me think how amazing your mom must have been for you as a child. Mm -hmm. Well, you do the best you can at the time with the knowledge that you have. You know, you acquire more knowledge the older you get, but you do the best you can. Mm -hmm. And I remember reading a book about, mm, I don't even know, it was about raising kids, but it was about a, uh, finding what your child is gifted at and then letting them go with that. I can't remember what it was called, if it was the blessing or something like that. That and, sounds familiar. Or the gift. I, and so each one of your kids, you can really tell what they're strong at, even when they're little. Mm -hmm. And then let them go, you know, feed that. So I'm so, interested, what, Joe, Monica, and myself, mm -hmm. what were we each strong at? Well, oh gosh, lots of things. Joseph's always had just like a fantastic memory. He has a photo, my brother has a photographic memory. Oh, it's, it's so amazing. It is amazing, it I is wish amazing. I had that. It is amazing, that's why he's a history professor. Mm -hmm. I mean, he can, names and dates and, all of that, and mm -hmm. and he always was really good at, he has a compassionate heart. He was yes. always good with you girls, mm -hmm. always when you were little. I mean, you and Joseph had some times. We had our rounds, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, um, and you were like me. You were just like me. Mm -hmm. Creative, you, you loved, you liked a lot of the same exact things I did. Mm -hmm. And um, you were always a leader. You always had, um, you knew your mind. You knew it. Yeah, that's yeah. that is true. Yeah, <laughs> that, that makes true. a good leader. I think I have one of those now. You do. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. but it makes a really good leader, and makes somebody. Uh, it, it makes for somebody that's really um, uh, high energy because they want to accomplish lots mm. of things. Can't you see Samantha? Oh, following in that same. Totally. Place. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Monica has always been a feeler. Oh, she is so mm -hmm. like. You can't fight with her ever because no. she doesn't fight. You can't get a reaction out of her. Nope. And so you two, it was lost on her mm -hmm. if you ever wanted. To. It was perfect though. <laughs> we had the like yeah. very opposite personalities. Yes. So I mean, of course, you have your childhood like you know, you're my little sister. Yeah. Get out yeah. of my face. Yes. I don't want don't you bug me. Yeah, don't yeah. bug me. Um, but yeah. as we've grown older, we have mm -hmm. a very good friendship yes, because we do. are so different. Well, there's no competition. No. And you could share a room. Because which we did all the years all growing the up. Years, I never had my own room. Yeah, mm -hmm. all the years, and you know they did really well. You and Monica did really well because she just wouldn't fight. Mm -hmm. And if you told her to do something, she probably pretty much would do it. Yeah, she would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably took advantage of that. <laughs> uh, next one is from Stormy Cooper. Mm -hmm. Question for Mom: Was gardening part of your childhood, and was mm -hmm. this your original career mm -hmm. path? Well, when. I was growing up, I always liked plants. My earliest memory, I think I must have been about six years old, maybe seven, but no older than that. And we lived in the middle of the Mojave Desert. And there, we lived in like a trailer park. Mm -hmm. And there was an older woman there that had like a, in my little childhood memory, it was, it was like a little oasis in this desert. And she would hire me to water her things when she was gone. I was ti I was little. I mm -hmm. was like six, mm -hmm. and um, I would go there, and it was real shady and real quiet. Mm. And she had bird feeders, and 
this little tiny girl would be in charge of watering her stuff because I think she could sense that I loved plants. Mm -hmm. And so, oh, I, I took it very seriously, mm -hmm. you know, it was my job. And then I, at 12 years old, there, were, there was a greenhouse right down the road from us. And I rode my bike down there and begged them for a job. Mm -hmm. And so I started um, with the assembly line with plugs, you know, the trays, yeah. fill the trays, yeah. plugs, all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Loved it. I wasn't, I wasn't old enough to drive, mm -hmm. you know, and it was about like a mile down the road. Mm -hmm. I rode my bike down there. And so I've always loved it. And then my dad would let me design his vegetable garden, of which that's all he liked to do well, was vegetables. Well, he had a huge one. Loved it. I remember Yeah. That. And mm -hmm. so I would draw, we would sit on this step outside of our house and we'd sat there so much that our feet had created just dirt dust. Mm -hmm. There was no grass or anything. Mm -hmm. And I'd have a stick and I'd draw on the dirt like where he should plant his corn mm -hmm. and, and he would do it. And even if it was in the wrong place mm -hmm. he would do it and even if his corn shaded his tomatoes he did it mm -hmm. and and that gives you confidence doesn't it does it? Mm -hmm. and then and then he would teach me why the tomatoes weren't bearing fruit because his corn was shading his tomatoes mm. but he just like he liked the idea that I could learn from that so mm -hmm. I think that was priceless yeah but so forever I've liked plants and mm -hmm. from what I what I can recall about mm -hmm. Grandma and Grandpa's house, there was yeah. a huge. Well, there. What was that tree in the back? A maple, massive yeah. maple tree. Big I maple. mean, maybe it's bigger than I remember. No, I it was, was little, giant. It was giant, it was, and it's still there. It's, it is. Uh, we drive by it every once in a while, take mm -hmm. a look. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't look anything like it did when no. Grandma and Grandpa had no. it at this point. But no, um, it, there was a huge vegetable garden out back. There right. was a grassy area like around the house. And yeah. as far as like pretty gardening, aesthetic gardening, right. there was just like a row of roses maybe. Well, they didn't really like, my mom didn't like to even go outside. Mm -hmm. She didn't like to be dirty. She didn't like to be hot. She was a big reader. She was a huge reader. She liked to sew, mm -hmm. you know, and that kind of thing. But my dad liked just grass in his garden, mm -hmm. grass and vegetables. That so was it. Do you feel like that? Mm -hmm like you always kind of knew that was your career path then? I knew it was going to be part of it. Uh -huh. I knew always that whenever I had my own home, we would have a garden, mm -hmm. a pretty garden. Mm -hmm. Well, you've done yeah. that. Yeah. That's for well, sure. <laughs> you know, it's an evolving garden, but yeah. all of ours are evolving yeah. gardens. Um, Michael Porter said, how has the plant slash garden center industry changed since you started? Old versus new trends, overall industry changes. Hmm. Well, I think there are more young people involved in gardening now, mm -hmm. which I love. Mm -hmm. um, it used to be just our clientele was a lot of just seniors. Mm -hmm. And now we have 20-somethings, 30-somethings. They want to know how to plant potatoes. Mm -hmm. They want to know how to plant garlic. Um, it's super fun. Mm -hmm. And the houseplant industry oh boy, has that's just big. boomed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's with the youngers, you mm -hmm. know, the younger people. Do you notice, yeah. because I was talking with Dad the other day, and we were talking mm -hmm. about the old sandwich shop building that used to be there. The what? Where Belly Buster is. Oh, yeah. There used to be a different building there. Yeah. And I remember dusting concrete pieces in the window, uh -huh. and I was freaked out to be in there by myself. <laughs> but I remember doing that, and Dad was saying that you guys used to sell so much more concrete. We did. And, like, painted concrete. Oh, painted concrete So you see, big. like, the difference yes. between that and what kind of pieces you're bringing in yes. now. Well, where we live, painted concrete is not very practical because the paint eventually wants to peel. You know, we get so many drastic changes in weather that it's just, it just doesn't hold up really, you know, for a long time. And then it just got to where it wasn't like asked for, it wasn't mm -hmm. bought, so we just stopped. Mm -hmm. We just bring in lots of natural finishes and it's, they look classic and they stay nice here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Pamela said, what is her tip for reducing maintenance in the garden as we grow older? Mm. Hire help. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, if you can, hire help. That is totally. nice. For sure. Well, Do you see yourself? Because I already, Yeah. I mean, I hate to admit this, but I already see myself yeah. wanting raised beds that are taller. Yes. I mean, do you see yourself maybe transitioning yes. some of well, your you areas? Well, you know, our, our vegetable garden has raised beds, or raised, yeah, a little bit. They're like 10 inches high. Yeah. I want them three feet high. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for sure. Just, yeah. Hold on, there's a big truck going by, or probably a tractor. It's a it's a, a hay truck. A hay truck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's up. Yeah. My word. He's climbing the hill. Yeah, he is. He's working hard. <laughs> yeah. What about other things? I mean, knowing that, I, I, if you guys have seen tours of my parents' garden where we've walked you through, it's all terraced. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a bunch of stairs and yes. things like that. Yes. Are you, like, do you think about that in terms well, of future? Yes, actually. And with this whole fiasco, um, 
I need like some posts or something. You need something to be able to like, like grab rails. on. Not even rails, just uh -huh. so, like a stick. Sure. Like I, I think people used to have like, po like, like just strategically a, placed yeah. posts. Like when you're going down, especially some of these lower terraces, yeah. they're narrow and they kind of turn in when and you're the going rocks down. Aren't them. Perfect. They're not. They're you know some of them have like little yep. ridges where you could catch a and toe. And so I do notice that when we have garden tours here or whatever, uh, there's older people that have to have somebody hold on to yeah. their arm while they are going down. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm I'm almost there. <laughs> Mercy. <laughs> what about, um, don't you think that the irrigation, like really honing your drip irrigation oh, has helped tremendously the, so you don't have to haul big hoses and things like that? That has been key. Mm -hmm. We set hoses here for a good, what, 20 years. Yes. And finally, wow. you know, so we watered work. two acres of gardens with hoses, pulling four hoses around. That's all that we could do with the pressure that we have from our well. Uh, four hoses once an hour because you can't leave them for much longer because the terracing will fall apart because mm -hmm. it's all dry stacked. Right. So you can't just let a hose run for a day. Mm -hmm. So two, two full days, once an hour, four hoses. And so we yeah. could only be gone on vacation for like five days at the max? At the max. Yeah. 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 Because you had to be home for the next set of water. That's right. Because <laughs> nobody so. quite understood the how, system yeah. well i mean i probably wouldn't even understand it <laughs> to this yeah, day yeah how you guys managed to get because it was flower beds and grass yeah with four sprinklers around mm -hmm. this whole entire space yeah like we they, had a system yeah you, you had to have a system a good <laughs> yeah, one yeah uh Lori's little studio said what is your personal favorite season oh my gosh okay summer's not it no nope. i can oh. tell you that oh yep same i, I don't like like past 90 degrees i mean even like 88's pushing it well, 88. <laughs> That's very specific. That's right. Yes. 88. Um, I, I like spring. I love mm. it's like that new, fresh, that beautiful growth and energy. And I'm excited about everything. Every flower is my favorite at that point. Yes. And then uh, June. I like June. June's okay. July, not so much. Although this July hasn't been as hot as normal, and I've been grateful for that. No, it hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I think the difference here is that we haven't been over 100 for weeks and weeks and no. weeks, but we did break some records, right? We broke some records. I think. Really? Um, I think we yeah. like got 110, 111 on days where we've never oh, reached that. Really? So like our highs were higher. I was, I was out of it. Yeah. I didn't know. I was in an air conditioned <laughs> <That's> house. That's true. <laughs> um, our highs were higher, but for a much shorter amount of yeah. time. Yeah. Like today's high is 102. We're out here in the morning right now. So it's, it's what? not so bad. I have oh, a magazine setting by hey. so like every once in a while I can fan myself My watch off. will tell us. Oh, it's 84 it? right now. Oh, see, but the humidity feels higher it, today. And we're not used to humidity. No. Yeah. So, but it's okay. I think yeah my jam is about 50 to 70 degrees so 50. whatever whatever season falls between 50 and 70 yeah. you like that mm -hmm. I like winter yeah I used to not like winter mm -hmm. but I think one of my favorite seasons is fall yeah love the colors love the food mm -hmm. love the f smell of rotting leaves yeah. and the oh, damp soil yeah. love that smell that's a great one that they should put that in a bottle bottle it up yes burn that candle <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um <laughs> Let's see, where am I at here? Ashley said, plant regrets. Are there any plants that you regretted planting in your garden that just did not work out for you? Yes, don't we all have that? Mm -hmm. Okay, bishop's weed. Oh, you still have a whole bunch of bishop's weed. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I like it because it serves a purpose, but it is a thug. Yeah, it, it is. It is a total thug and mm -hmm. it hops around everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I'm always trying to pull it away from stuff. And mm -hmm. you know, we're not big sprayers in this yard, mm -hmm. but sometimes I'm just like, just spray I have that stuff out. Yes, I <laughs> contemplate it because it's just all over everywhere. Well, I think it's real pretty. It is pretty. You, you have it underneath the row of spring snow crab apples, yeah. and it's just a very lush, soft, uniform look. There is a oh, hummingbird right. out on your Tuscan sun rose right now. You see that? <gasps> I can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I think that's like the slowest I've ever seen one move. It's really hovering oh. over that flower there. Yeah. We have a lot of hummingbirds here. It's so pretty. I get yeah. so distracted by the wildlife. <laughs> they had a badger come up on this deck like three nights ago, four yeah. nights ago. Yeah, I was sitting and just watching it came. It just walked right up. I'd never seen a badger that close. And I actually was like, what is that? Yeah, that is gross. What looking. is that? <laughs> it's a great big giant rodent and mm -hmm. it's up on our deck. Yeah. Huh. Ran off and gotten our raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> Any other plant regrets? Oh, yes. Blue dune, maybe. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what? That, gra okay, I'm not a huge ornamental grass person. Uh -huh. I just, I think it's great in certain places, but I just, I don't know, kind of just, if it gets in your regular grass, it's mm -hmm. hard, you know, I, I don't know. Well, that's probably because that was your experience with the Yeah, I mean, but, okay, so one, one winter we had a explosion of voles mm -hmm. and they ate 100 percent of every blade of ornamental grass in the yard so they completely wiped out all of the blue dune lucky <laughs> <laughs> um roseanne said question is there a life lesson that your garden has taught you mm. probably that gardens are not done mm -hmm. they're never done and thankfully they're not ever done because if you love to garden it's nice if something's had its life, you know, it's a living thing, just like us. Some things have a short life, some things have a long life. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like when you lost the blue spruce, mm -hmm. when it tipped over, yep. um, it opened up new possibilities, even though you replaced it with mm -hmm. another one, but you weren't just like terribly devastated. You could see that there was possibilities, even with that gone. And you can't let those things no. bum you out. Not at all. You can't, otherwise yeah. like, yeah, I mean, there would be a lot of things in the garden, really, that mm -hmm. could bum you out, especially Every when day. it gets extreme with yes. heat and all of that. Well, and then your garden changes. Like, our garden used to be 90% sun mm -hmm. when we first moved in. We didn't have big shade trees. Now, it's 90% shade. I can almost not remember, or yeah. imagine. I mean, I can remember yeah. if I think about it, but I can almost not imagine this space right. without all the maturity. And that's, I think, right. one of the fun things about touring through mm -hmm. this garden and doing mm -hmm. the videos in this garden is that it shows the possibilities like of what we hope mm -hmm. our garden will look like yeah. one day. Um, and I think for me, I know this was, was question wasn't for me, but for me, the garden has taught me patience. Yes. And that oh, you don't get it all, all at once, you know, <laughs> good. <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> But it has, for real, because, like, I can see where it's going to end up. Yeah. And, yeah. like, sometimes you want to be yeah. impatient about it. And you're right. like, well, I wish my space was, you know, shaded know. and all of I that. Know. But it'll get there. Well, and then, so now, with all this shade, the things that I had planted got stringy, hmm. leggy, unhealthy. And so I've had to, like, hone down what does well in dark shade. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of these trees take up the moisture. So what does well in dark, dry shade? Mm -hmm. Hostas. Hostas, yeah. <laughs> Marilyn said, what is the prettiest garden you have visited, not including yours and Laura's, oh. in your travels? Oh my goodness, okay. Let's see. Been to a lot of places. I have, we've been to mm -hmm. a lot of places. So one, um, gosh, some of the ones we went to in England, like what was it? Do you wanna know which one reminds me of your garden? Which was one? Was Holker Hall. Oh. Girl. Remember, it's the one we were cruising around and it was closed. We didn't realize oh. it. And the owner of the house came <laughs> was out super like... super gracious. Yeah. Because we were like complete... Tourists. Total. Yeah. We should just... have just had everything, like the fanny pack, everything. I know. We should have. <laughs> but he just let us roll. Yeah. But that one reminded me a lot yeah. of, of your garden. Yeah, yeah. I loved that space. Yeah. I don't know if that was your favorite, well, but that I, was a beautiful one. Well, I do one. like that one. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple here in... Um, there's, there's one in Boise that's been on a garden tour that I uh, love. That really it's impressed off you. Harrison Boulevard. Anyway, it, yeah, they just had- um, It's a private home. It's a private home, but the whole thing was kind of shady like this, and they had lots of neat um, ironwork stuff, mm. but it looked like old ruins mm -hmm. sort of thing, and I don't know, it had a good feel. Mm. And then I've gone to some of our family friends. Mm -hmm. It was just a wreck of a yard, but for some reason, it had this most wonderful feel to mm -hmm. me. So I like to spend time in that yard, even though it was not picture perfect. Mm -hmm. It's a feel that you get when yeah. you go into these places. Yeah, and even yeah. when you go to some of the estates, you don't get that feel. Not at all. Yeah. yeah. And I think it all depends on your style and what makes exactly. you feel that. So everyone's yeah. going to feel different. Because I don't but... want it to be super unkept, mm -hmm. but I don't want it to be stiff feeling. Right. Because that just seems like a public touring garden. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like you could just kick back and, mm -hmm. you know, ha I don't know, have something good to drink and, yeah. you know, visit. And, you know, yeah. that kind of reminds me, uh, a couple friends of ours just went to Versailles. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, one of them said, I was surprised by how many weeds were actually in their garden, like in their uh, formal yeah. garden. And I yeah. thought, well, I would love 
to see yeah. that because yeah. that is so relatable. And even though it's this massively mm -hmm. formal, huge space mm -hmm. that takes a ton of maintenance to keep it that right. way, right. they still have weeds. And the fact yes. that they're still there and you can see that, I mean, it just well, makes you feel like I'm at home. <laughs> I think a little bit of that too is the difference between the states and Europe mm -hmm. because a lot of them don't don't use heavy sprays mm -hmm. they don't do that and so there's a lot of like weeds and mm -hmm. we're not used to that mm -hmm. we're used to just slick clean everything yeah. if if there's five weeds in our garden we think oh we got to get out weed yeah it's time to like weed. holy moly I've let it just go <laughs> <laughs> uh oh what has happened here <clears throat> okay there they are I thought I deleted all the questions oh. for a second okay uh Chrissy said if you could sneak into Laura's garden and plant a surprise for her <laughs> what would you plant and where? Oh my goodness. I like this question. Okay. Well, I could play some funny tricks on you. Oh, <laughs> yes, she <you> could. <laughs> <laughs> I could do some funny stuff. You know what I probably would do? I would pl probably plant some kind of a topiary, mm. like a real pretty topiary, uh -huh. like something we would we would love. Yeah. I'd like that. Yeah. I'll be watching. Yes. <laughs> Once you're past this leg <laughs> thing. And I'd be in total camouflage. You'd never see me. No. <laughs> the cameras wouldn't pick up anything. <laughs> no, not at all. Okay, the next set of questions are from Facebook. First one is from Katie Gray. How did you balance being a gardener, business owner, and a present mom when your kids were younger? Mm. Well, you you guys were always with me. Mm -hmm. I mean, you went to work. I mean, I, I don't know. We were all just kind of like this little moving unit. I remember. <laughs> I could interject here. I remember yeah. that you stayed home with us yeah. until we started to go to school. Right. That's and you right. would start to you would work a little bit yep. during our school hours, but you yep. were always there to pick us up. Yep. So it didn't really feel like you weren't with us at no. home. And then I remember even the years that you were a florist. Yeah. We would after school we would come and we would be at like the, in the basement at, or you know yeah. up there t chatting but right. we would go down to the basement yeah uh, you were uh, we were together yeah you were and then you picked up things along the way mm. you know and um i wish i would have picked up like i wish i would have paid attention a little bit more well when you're a kid you don't know that no you don't but i you wish kind of like when you're in that. school i wish i would have studied that better yeah you know certain <laughs> subjects <That's> true <laughs> christy brant said if money or time was no object what would you do differently in your garden mm. i would have a greenhouse and it would probably be a Hartley <laughs> because I think it's beautiful. Well, you've wanted one for longer than I've wanted one. I, I wanted one here, and but not as big as yours. And and I want one at Andrews. I, I like that all year round being able to be mm -hmm. out in the garden and grow things. Where would you put it? Any location. Would oh. you attach it to your house? Oh. Or would you have it apart? Like, you know, I, there's two two. I would kind of like it to be attached to the house to where we could step down out of the president's room, the mm -hmm. dining president's room, step down into no walk in the snow out to the no, greenhouse. Gosh, that, that be would nice? be so nice. Yeah. <sighs> I think that's a great. Yeah. You should talk to your dad about that. I'll start. I'll plant that seed. <laughs> plant that seed. <laughs> uh, Les said, hello to you both. Would you would love to know how you started your business? And besides being a florist, did you have any other schooling self-taught? Well, I did have other schooling, but it was to be a nurse. <laughs> Sounds familiar. <laughs> yep. I did the exact same thing. Exact same thing. I just, I like nursing. I, I like the whole thing about just caregiving mm -hmm. in general, whether it's a person or a plant, just caregiving. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. And um, yeah, as far as schooling goes, it was just all hands-on experience. Mm -hmm. I didn't really have any kind of formal training. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as far as starting the business, uh, I think referring to uh, the garden center. Right. So that was kind of a gradual process. It was a huge gradual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the old owner that we bought it from, he actually asked me if what I could do with certain areas. And he was old and he was wonderful. Mm -hmm. And and I said, yeah, I can I could do this or that. And he just let me roll. Just let me do it. Mm hmm. Yeah, but it was a slow process because change is hard for people. Mm -hmm. And so you don't want to just change everything and make it completely not their business. Right. So you want to gradually, mm -hmm. you know, not to I think it gives push people, people a chance to, to get take a breath used to it and get and, used to mm -hmm. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So it started in uh, well, it kind of started gradually with dad. He ordered like a few roses, like 50 he said. And they yes. all sold, and then the next yeah. year he ordered 100, and they all sold. <laughs> and then you guys gradually, like in 90, I think 1990 is when you maybe started 
Yes. Getting involved. That's, it, that's and that's right. when the, the garden center really started yep. to develop more. Well, that, that garden center had not been painted, probably oh, for, not cleaned, for about 20 years. I can vouch for that. <laughs> I did clean the back room every oh, once in a while. Oh my gosh. And so just painting, um, you know, moving shelves, getting rid of a lot of the stinky chemicals, mm -hmm. you know, um, just just really redoing it. Mm -hmm. It's completely different. When I was little, yeah. there were shelv shelving units still all the same because like yeah. a lot of changes hadn't been made yet. Right. And there was boxes of machetes. Oh yeah. Just ru like at floor level. Oh yeah. So I could just go in there and just grab a machete and go to town. But you know what the thing is? Nobody messed with them. It's true, times Kids were probably different. Kids didn't mess mm -hmm. with them. Nobody messed with them and nobody was worried. But then all of a sudden we all started getting scared and worried and then yeah. we started locking stuff up and moving stuff high mm -hmm. and it was just a different different time. Different time. I'm so happy. I feel like mm -hmm. Aaron in my generation was the last one mm -hmm. to experience both like pre internet and post internet. Yeah. It was kinda like a freedom. Yeah. You know, it was kinda like a freedom that we had that I'm sad that you don't have. I know. Yeah. Raising kids. Mm -hmm. That it's just a different it's a world. Different. Yeah. different business. Shannon said, I love when Laura does tours of your yard. Did you have a master plan for you, uh, for how you were going to develop your yard when you first moved in? No. That Not makes, one that little makes bit. me feel happy to hear. Not I one don't little bit. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that I, I just, I don't know. I, you just kind of wing it because what I do is I just go area by area and I think, gosh, I need a shade tree here or I need, so the four colors, you know, that I've always promoted. Yep. Um, the gold, the green, the red, the blue. Mm -hmm. So I just go in the different areas and I think, I need, say, blue in this area and I need it to be an evergreen. Mm -hmm. And and so that's what I concentrate on. It's no big master plan. Mm -hmm. It's just, it just it has evolved. Kind of like yeah. there's one section in this upper yard that is a circle garden of the fountain <laughs> with roses around it and it was created because we had a pool sitting there. It was one of those above ground kid pools, uh -huh. like what was it, three feet high or something? Yeah, three feet and maybe like, uh, I don't ten know how feet wide, wide, 10, 12 feet wide yeah. or something. Yeah, and then when that went, you know, of course with when one season or two seasons, mm -hmm. it's all ripped up. Mm -hmm. um, then we just decided, you know what, we'll make that a little garden and We've put got a, a fountain. Perfect dead grass circle <laughs> right in that spot. Yeah. So now it's a garden. Now it's a garden. So things evolve and you yeah. guys have brought home a lot of damaged plants from the garden a center. A lot. So a lot of the things in this garden, yeah. you know. Well, like something will come off the truck and the leader is broken. Mm -hmm. And so we'll think, well, we'll just graft up a new leader. Mm -hmm. And it'll be fine. And it's just fine. Over it's time. fine, mm -hmm. yeah. So yes, a lot of it's damaged mm -hmm. plants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably not as many now as you were bringing home well, in the I beginning. Well, I don't bring home as many plants. That's true. At all. Yeah, that's the one thing I notice when we go to garden centers together, yeah. you're like, well, I can help you spend your money. <laughs> well, I love but that. But I have no space for anything anymore. But nope. you're now developing the new space down in the orchard. Yes, so now. I, yes. In fact, this whole business happened right when I'm in the middle of this mm -hmm. and in the middle of a little remodel in our downstairs bathroom. So you can't even go down and look at it. I can't even. I'm having people take pictures and bring it up to me. <laughs> it will, it'll go by fast. Yeah. I say yeah. that because I'm not the yeah. one yeah. in the midst of it. Heidi said, tell us a funny story about Laura. <laughs> be kind. <laughs> I know. Oh gosh, there's so many funny stories. So um, I remember when she was just little and she reminded me so much of Samantha Grace because we were camping and I have a picture of you holding up what I think is a half of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but it's so covered in dirt and pine needles and stuff and you're just eating it and you have it all around your whole mouth. And see, I think that's why I'm so healthy these days. I, I honestly you have an immune system, fantastic immune system, and I think as you ate a bunch of dirt when you were a little. See, Samantha so, should be just fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the cutest little time. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Laura said, what are uh, your mom and dad's backgrounds? Did they grow up on farms? How did mm. they get into the plant seed business? You've kind of mm. touched on that a little bit, yeah. but anyway, well, do you want to ex you know expand what? on that a bit? Um, as far as your dad, I mean, he grew up in town, mm -hmm. and but they had a little acreage. They had some cows, and his sister was a, a show horse. She showed horses, mm -hmm. and she does the um, what's that kind of dressage? Riding? Dressage. She does mm -hmm. that beautiful rider, mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah. So they were always around, kind of more the country mm -hmm. sort of stuff, 
but um, he just decided to work at Andrews and he just loved it. Mm -hmm. He didn't have any prior um, prior experience with growing seed crops, mm -hmm. but he loved it and he went to school for that. He mm -hmm. has a soil, a soils degree. Mm. Yeah. So, Interesting. Yeah. Michelle said, what's your mom's favorite go-to dish to make? Go-to dish. Mm. Well, we like food. Yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> we do like the food. So, you know, it seems like any time we go on a trip or any time uh, we, any of us buys a home and we want to have this smell of home, we make spaghetti, homemade mm -hmm. spaghetti sauce. Mm -hmm. Or... Um, I don't know. We just like so many things. I don't know. I have no idea. What do you think? Well, what do you, what do you <laughs> like eat? Which one do I, what do we like to make together? We like to make Thai food Thai. a lot. Oh, we do. Um, we also like to make, um, like we do the classic, like fried chicken dinners and oh, things yeah, those, like that's that. That's wonderful. Yeah. Um, in fact, that's one of your favorites when you, mm -hmm, that's yeah. like the comfort meal. Yeah. Yep. Um, I don't, there's so many things. There are. That's what's hard. So we have we have a, a lot, lot of, of different. We favorites. just in general like to get together and eat together. Yeah, that's a real fun thing. We for did us. do <laughs> something really fun for about a year. We did themed dinners. Yeah, we should do that again. Yeah, we should. Um, we would we would pick a day, one day a month, and then we would choose a theme. So it could be Italian food or Thai food, or or one time we did cocktails, which was a dumb idea, because <laughs> what we do is uh, for that themed dinner, everybody chooses a course. So if it's Italian food, somebody does a, an appetizer, somebody's yeah. in charge of the, the salad, somebody's mm -hmm. in charge of the bread or the mm -hmm. main, and you have to choose something that you've never made before. So it has right. to be a new recipe, mm -hmm. and then we come together, everybody bringing whatever they've made, <laughs> and then we just sit down and have the dinner together, and it's a fun experience. It is. You know, sometimes you find some really amazing things because it pushes mm -hmm. you out of your comfort yeah. zone. Um, so the cocktail one we did on New Year's Eve, and when you've got like <laughs> six or seven different groups of people bringing new cocktails, yeah. like you can only choose like two. Oh, that's to right. Try. Or Otherwise, take a small sip. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It, it was still it was fun, <laughs> but uh, anyway, we should do that again. Yeah. We just like to experience new things. Yes. We uh, do. Michelle also asked, "What's your mom's prized plant or tree at her home?" Oh. I'm interested in knowing. Okay. One of my very favorite trees is the Slender Silhouette Sweet Gum. Mm -hmm. Here, I don't know, is it like three feet wide? I think so. At the most, and mm -hmm. it's old, and it's like 30 feet tall. And they, they get taller than that, I think, even. But it's so skinny. Mm -hmm. It's just like this, and it has the most beautiful fall color, and then the tri tricolored beach. Mm -hmm. That's a beauty. Love that. It's, mm -hmm. it's the real light pink one. Mm -hmm. There's different, sh I don't know what the deal is with that. I don't either, with tri but you're right. beaches, there's dark ones mm -hmm. and there's light ones. Ours happens to be that light baby pink, mm -hmm. and it's just brilliant. It I is. mean, it's it's so pretty. And it's big now. It's big. Yeah. yeah. Rachel said, "I am your mom's age. How does she find energy energy to do all she does? Does she have an exercise routine, or is her day to day exercise enough?" Well, the day to day. I mean, when we were wearing Fitbits, mm -hmm. we were walking between twenty and thirty five thousand steps a day. That's a lot of steps. That's a lot of steps. And also we are doing weight bearing stuff, mm -hmm. which is really good as you age. Which actually, and this is interesting, yeah. so when you broke your, yeah. your... They said my bone density was like I was 40. And it's because of all the dang lifting we do mm -hmm. all the time. Well, that's, yeah. that was nice to hear. Oh, you know? yeah, it was super good. Yeah. I mean, there's been a huge amount of silver linings in this. Yes, yeah, so you got to take what out. you can get. <laughs> <laughs> Martha said, uh, where do you see your family, Garden Answer and Andrews, in the next 10 to 15 years? Well, a Garden Answer is probably going to be in charge of Andrews uh, Andrew C. Nursery. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I hope that just, I hope I just love this time that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. It's it seems so happy and the and, grandkids are young. Oh my god! And in fact, two of them are here right now, and they're mm -hmm. just playing. And it's like, it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite. Yeah. I love for them to all be down there. I like that Garden Answer and Andrews has been a good complement to each other. Mm -hmm. It's just it's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Peggy said, if Laura moves to Idaho, would you consider selling and move there also? You bet. <laughs> Yes, well, I wouldn't be the Lone Ranger in fact, over here. I've been telling Aaron that we should just probably do some some property shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I just I can't even. I mean, as I get older, I can imagine the 
eventual need to do something as far as like I mean this yep. this garden is intense it's intense and our garden is becoming more and more intense yep. but ours is flat yeah so we do have that going for yeah. us yeah um, and I can see like one day wanting to be able to have more experiences and yeah. less property right um, and just shifting that direction yeah you yeah. know and we've yeah. we've talked about you know Mm -hmm. the possibility of moving because mm -hmm. we're realists in, mm -hmm. in life and yeah. you know if you need to make changes or whatever mm -hmm. it might be something. You can't get stuck in nostalgia. No, it's because hard sometimes. It's super hard yeah. but it, but if you do that you never move on. You mm -hmm. never move forward and mm -hmm. your life seems stalled somehow yeah. mm -hmm. and not like it's not the way it's supposed to go. Right. So you have to you have to be brave. Yeah. You have to be brave yeah. and you have to say when enough's enough. Yeah. 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 I think for me, the, the thing that hit me, which is such a weird thing, but down at Andrews, where yeah. that new side room is. Yeah. So, yeah, there were some renovations that were done at the garden yeah. center, which, you know, needed a renovation like that, it did need to be done. And I yeah. do see that. Um, but, you know, you would go in the front door and turn left, and then that's where all the old desks were, and that's where Including dad Including your always, dad. Yeah, that's where dad was sitting, <laughs> usually with kind of like a scowl scowl on his face so he needed to that's be moved. his happy face yeah he needed to be moved out of the customer <laughs> yeah totally get the and, back yes yeah. <laughs> anyway they uh transformed that area from retail into or from offices rather into retail right and i it was all great and i thought right. you know whatever right. um the mm -hmm. other day i had to look for some piece of a video because mm -hmm. i needed to see uh, i don't know what i was looking for exactly but i came across a vlog where i was down there shopping and i went through the door and turned left and there was dad sitting at the mm -hmm. desk and i was like yeah. Like that nostalgia just hit me and I'm like, those were the old, like the good yeah, old days. The good old days. And I miss yeah. that. I don't know. You just, well, every once in a while, you never know. Yeah. It's, it's good to have that. And, and it's good actually that you do miss it because that meant it was a really special time. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you, um, get stuck there, then it seems not right. Yeah. Not healthy. Not healthy. Yeah. We it's kind of like raising kids and they never go on. Mm -hmm. They just, ha they can't get, you know, mm -hmm. that's not healthy. You've right. got to, they've got to fly. Got to move forward. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. This next group of questions is from TikTok. Jose said, if you can choose another gardening zone to live in, which would it be? Six. Aren't you in a six? No, I'm in a five. We're in a five B. But <laughs> <laughs> every every guy at this point will say we're in a six. But I still plant we're, like we're in a you five. You know what? I do but... too because we have those dinger of winners and, and it'll kill like a bunch of stuff. Yeah. It's because not we like push the, it. It's not like the um, it's severe for a long time. It's the swing. It's the swing. Like we could have a zone six winter technically, but we'll yeah. have those two nights where it goes from 40 to nine. Yeah. You know, degrees. Exactly. And it just takes stuff. It does. Mm -hmm. And so I maybe six B. Uh huh. Maybe seven A. Um, I could do as I seven. like the seasons. I do too. Mm -hmm. And so I don't want to be in something that's like cold for the most of the year or too hot most of the year. Yeah. I like the seasons. I like to see the color changes. Mm -hmm. I love to see the leaves fall. Mm -hmm. I like to see the new ones unfurl in the spring, all bright and mm -hmm. shiny. And mm -hmm. I like that. So I want to be somewhere where there's four seasons. Well, you picked a good spot. Yep. Sure I did. do like that it's not humid here. Right. I mean, for the a, most part. Yeah. Once in a this while, I have feeling humid. a little muggy. <laughs> <laughs> um, bad. <laughs> it's just like heaven out here for me. Does yeah. it? Well, that's yeah. good. Um, user 5176001. It's a huge long number it says what are your favorite greenery perennials to grow along with a cut flower garden i have the flowers down but need fillers hmm. just greenery huh mm -hmm. hmm. we use a lot of things off trees we do and like evergreen branches tree yeah. branches yeah right um you know that's where an ornamental like an oat grass yeah. is really is really pretty mm -hmm. um the seed heads on that mm -hmm. are really pretty and a good filler Smoke bush, smoke bush, elderberry. If you pick it at the right time, yep. it'll wilt. If you pick it at the wrong time, yeah. Um, what else do we cut? Uh, dogwood, dogwood. Um, I cut stuff off my grapes because mm -hmm. I love the grape leaves. Yeah. And I like the tendrils that yeah. curl. Japanese anemones have yeah. big, beautiful leaves that are um, a great base. Any kind of willow. Oh yeah, willow. willows are That's wonderful. A good one. Yep. Uh huh. So that that I mean, you endless can cut, possibilities. Yeah. And one of the best annual mm -hmm. fillers, I think, uh, is basil. Basil's great. Basil's awesome. Yeah, and basil's coleus. good. Well, great any one. kind dill is pretty. Mm -hmm. um, does yours wilt? Mine's, I must not yes, have that Yes, actually down. it does. Yeah. Yeah, uh, must it be does. 
pick it at the wrong time. It might, we need to experiment with yes, that. Yes, we do. <laughs> um, user 87, another long number, said biggest gardening fail and biggest gardening win. Oh, biggest gardening win is I have Evelyn roses from yeah. David Austin, which they don't make, they don't, I don't sell think it they anymore. grow. I, I, they might grow them, but they don't sell them. Mm. At least to us, they don't. Mm-hmm. And I have three of them. Better, That's my, my garden win. Better take real good care of those. I know, I know. And then um, garden fail. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. What is this it? isn't a fail on your yeah. part, but they were they were planting a moon garden. Oh, mercy! And you planted a row yeah. of white peonies. It took two years for them to bloom. Yeah, they were all pink, but one, one was white. Uh, the rest of them were pink. And I'd waited so long and they were pretty. And so I just gave up and thought, I'm going to do the moon garden somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. So that wasn't a fail on your part, but the plants sure. Yeah. Kinda... That's where, you know, labeling, mm -hmm. um, you, you trust the people that label your things. Mm -hmm. But every once in a while, we get a yep, uh, there's wrong one. Mistakes every mm -hmm. once in a while. Yep. Gretchen said, what keeps you motivated to stay in the same career slash industry all mm -hmm. these years? I actually really like it. Mm -hmm. I love the topic. I like the customers for the most part. <laughs> yeah, there's always a percentage. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, and I, I love, I, it's a healthy thing to do. It's a happy thing. People come in, they're usually not ever grumpy because they want to be there. Mm -hmm. So, and, and I like people. I like interactions with yeah. people. So yeah, you're social. I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just like the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. It's a healthy, happy thing to do. Yeah. Uh, Erica said, what's your least favorite plant that everyone loves? Red geraniums, probably. Mm. I like geraniums, but I don't like red in the garden. Mm -hmm. So, but a lot of people really, now I have to take it back because I like red geraniums like in a French setting or, yeah, it seems like they're Appro appropriate, appropriate. Uh -huh. but I don't really, it's too jarring mm -hmm. to me. It's mm -hmm. too much like they're sh trying to steal the show oh. from everyone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that and bright orange, no go. No go on the orange. No go on the <laughs> orange. Not not anything real bright like that. Colin said, what happens to plants that don't get sold at the garden center? Well, I do give employees sometimes first stab at it mm -hmm. um, because all of them like to garden. Mm -hmm. We take things, um, mm -hmm. but really there's not a whole lot left. No. Not ever. Uh, Logan said, why don't you have any wind chimes in your garden? That might have been directed at me. <laughs> I don't know. You have I do. several wind chimes. I do. I have like three, three wind chimes. Uh -huh. I have one over here and behind us that is called Guaranteed to Rust. And mm -hmm. it's a great big bell. Mm -hmm. And it has a deep sound. And like it has gong, a heavy, gong. heavy, what is it called? A uh, pendulum thing. 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 Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, the thing I don't know yeah. what it is, but anyway, it takes a lot of a good wind to get it to go, mm -hmm. and so it just doesn't clank all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got just a couple of other smaller ones. Yeah, that make more of a tinkling sound. Mm -hmm. But I basically bought them not for the sound, but the, they were pretty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Zachary said, "How has the success of Garden Answer impacted Andrews?" Oh gosh, well, it's it's opened the world to us, and caused us to meet a ton of people. Um, given our kids a great career, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, that's what you want mm -hmm. for your kids. You mm -hmm. want them to, to be successful at what they do. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. The last group of questions is from Instagram. Loiter Deuter <laughs> said, fondest memory of Laura in the garden as a child. Oh, when, when she had her own garden. So all three kids, I gave them a little spot. Do you remember? Yep, I give all three of you a mm -hmm. spot. And you got to do whatever you wanted to do. And, and that's where I could really see your your um, personalities mm -hmm. come out. You Your style was so similar to mine. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I would go out there and I'd, I'd actually really like what this little kid did. <laughs> and um, Monica's was more eclectic. It was very charming and cute. Roses. Yeah. Uh, I remember her planting roses. She likes hers. roses. Joseph was the pumpkin man. Mm -hmm. He pretty much didn't plant anything other than pumpkins. And I would always get annoyed at his yeah. garden space because yeah. his was right next to mine. Yeah. And he wouldn't take care of his weeds. Not not too much. He no. was hoping the pumpkins would smash well, yeah. him down. <laughs> yes. I wanted him to keep his weeds in his yeah, own that's space. Right. That's right. <laughs> Ampero said, what's your favorite antique find? Hmm. You've found a lot of antiques through the year. I know. There's so many. How do you choose? 
love the presidents. Mm -hmm. Love love a lot of those. Can't can't pick a favorite really, of those, and a lot of um, the crystal the um, dishes you know mm -hmm. that we have the bowls. like the marble base. Yeah, uh -huh. because you can make flower arrangements in them, or you can serve a salad in it. True. Very versatile. <laughs> <It is. laughs> Introvert said, "What inspired you to be a florist?" Flowers and pretty things. Mm -hmm. I've always always loved things that are just pretty. Mm -hmm. And just go the extra mile. Do anything. I, I love it when anybody does one pot on their porch. I love that. I just too. make a little effort. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I always remember that story you told about when you very first were starting and the man who owned the flora shop. Oh, yep. Yeah, Bill. Yeah. His mm -hmm. name was Bill. Mm -hmm. Bill. So tell me about what he would do. Oh. So he wanted to make sure, so if you're doing like a bridal bouquet, you don't want the bride walking down the aisle and her flowers coming out mm -hmm. as she's walking down. Mm -hmm. So he'd have us build things and then he would like toss it across the room. <laughs> well, was that the actual bouquet? No, it was a trial. Like a trial, okay. It was a trial. <laughs> and, I, and we'd be like, ha! Huh. And, but he'd said, yeah, this is how it happens because like somebody will take the box that you've delivered him in mm -hmm. and they'll, who knows if they're like, chucking it yeah. into the room or whatever it's got to hold together so your construction's got to be good uh-huh yeah that's good training really it is good training yeah uh rose rosewina said does she get recognized do you get recognized now and do folks come by the garden center just to say hi yes yeah isn't yeah, that fun so cute yeah willie bell's mom said what is the most popular plant that is sold at the garden center also the most popular seed packet and what is your favorite plant and or flower Oh, so let's start with the first one. What is the most popular plant that's sold at the garden center? Probably the roses, the David Austin's. Yeah? Yeah, we sell more roses than anything else. That's amazing. Yeah, at war and houseplants. A lot of houseplants. Both plants. of those yeah. are huge. What's the yeah. most popular seed packet? Uh, well, I I don't know yet this year because I haven't done the, but a Suyao cucumber. Really? Yeah. Oh, those are the best too. Yeah. And what's your all time favorite plant and or flower? Oh, it has to be the English roses. They're just the best, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, although I do love pansies. Yeah. Oh, I love pansies. Blue I ones. love pansies in the fall, and I love pansies mm -hmm. in the spring. The periwinkle blue, mm -hmm. love that with that buttery yellow. Love mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Yeah. Bailey said, what are your most favorite and least favorite gardening chores? <laughs> hmm. So what's your most favorite? <gasps> okay, so that's kind of a, there are certain areas in my yard that I don't really like to work in, and who knows why? Mm -hmm. I just don't. I just like maintain it as quick as I can and get out. Yeah. I need to which redo I need to redo area? those. These down here, which I'm seeing some hummingbirds over there on that millionaire. Um, oh. down here in this little cutting garden, I can never seem to quite get it right. Oh. So I just maintain it, get it groomed, get it weeded, get out. <laughs> yeah. I need to I wanna look at it. I don't, I don't want, want it. To, yeah. no. <laughs> but I, I just, you know, I don't know if you have areas in your yard oh. that you like to work in and the others yeah. that you don't. Tons. So yeah. the ones that we mm -hmm. don't like to work in, we need to fix that. Yeah, we do. That is a that is something we need to do. That is a shame. It is. <laughs> Cry in shame. Garden. Back formal garden, Erin. <laughs> Pipe down. Paint a gallery over there. Whoa, I'm getting mm -hmm. hot over here. Okay. Yeah. What's your uh, most favorite garden chore, though? Oh, probably deadheading. I like really? to deadhead, yeah. I like that fussy stuff. Mm -hmm. I love I like to weed. Mm -hmm. Love to weed, only not in those areas I was telling you about. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know what I hate to do, but I love the results of oh. planting mm -hmm. bulbs. Oh, bulbs! Bulbs are the worst gardening chore oh. you could ever give me. Yeah, that's true. Except if you, if if you're me, your dad goes in front of me and drills all the holes, and I just stand up straight and just toss them in the hole. You hearing this, Erin? <laughs> Actually, he would do it if, yeah. if I asked him to. Well, that big auger, you know, if it's a six inch deal, uh -huh. it's a little much. It can be. That four inch one is about all I can do. Mm -hmm. And then I've got to give it to your dad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you grow, Gail, then now this is the last question. You grow, Gail said, how have your taste changed in the garden over the years? When your gardens were young, what did you start planting? And then over the years, what did you realize you really loved and leaned on more for an enjoyable space? Um, I planted ranunculus when I very first started gardening, mm -hmm. like lots of yellow ranunculus, which I love, mm -hmm. but they're short lived. Yes. So I found that I just plant a few of those mm -hmm. um, and go for daffodils because they do well here and they naturalize and they they come back year after year. Yeah. So as far as bulbs go, mm -hmm. that's 
that's what I do with that's that. The thing. But yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And like your general taste, you've always kind of had the I've same. I've always had the same. The same kind of yeah, taste. The same taste, even like from your garden in yep. town. Yep, the mm -hmm. same taste. Yeah, I like rooms. I like uh -huh. cozy. Mm -hmm. I like a small mm -hmm. feeling, even if you have a giant space. Mm -hmm. Break it into rooms to where you feel like you can go to these little, like a different part of the house. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for sitting down with us. It's getting very hot, hot. and I know you're probably needing to move at yeah. this point. Maybe we can do part two in the Hartleyworths air. Oh, we there you go. The air I would love to out. go on a road trip. Yeah, maybe I have we to should go in the back that. seat. But yeah. <laughs> that's okay. We can handle it. Well, that was really fun. You guys asked yeah. some really good questions, and it's yeah. fun to reminisce and, yeah. and think about those yeah, things it is again. Fun for me so, too. Anyway, yeah. thank you guys so much for watching. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.